Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, good evening. Good evening. Welcome, everybody, to the week number three of classes. Thank you for attending today's class. And we're going to start. I hope that you have enjoyed your weekend. And let's get started, everybody, with the third week of classes. Okay. So thank you for thank you for being here. And for tonight, let's start with a very interesting activity, everybody. I want you to please tell me what are some activities you do? Okay, on Saturdays and Sundays. Can you tell me, please, everybody, what are some activities you do on Saturdays and Sundays? Let's start with uh, Evie's. Evie's, tell us, please. Describe some activities you do on Saturday and Sunday, please. Uh, good evening. On Sunday, I climbed the volcano of Santa Ana. Climb, climb and the volcano of Right. Yeah. And I visit my family. And you visit your family too. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue with a different partner. Let's see, uh, Lourdes, Lourdes Hernandez. Tell us some activities you do on Saturday and Sunday, please. Hello, Lourdes, can you hear me? Lourdes Hernandez? Okay, so let's continue with a different partner then. Let's see, Jennifer. Jennifer, got this. Ah, okay, very well. So let's see. Uh, Lourdes, what are some activities you do on Saturdays and Sundays? Ah, yes. Some activities you do on Saturdays and Sundays. Activities que hace los sábados y domingos. I am going to visit my grandparents. Huh? And I am going to clean my house. And I am going to do my homework. And you do your homework and too. I am going to watch the dishes and I am going to play no, without, my without going to, only the very original form. I go, I visit, I play. The activities you do every day. Okay, creo que no entendí muy See, bien. The activities you do every day. Pero sin utilizar going to, tiene que utilizar ah, okay. el verbo de su forma original. I wake up at night, a.m. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I take a shower early. Okay. And I have breakfast. Pancakes. Finally, I clean my house. And finally, you clean your house. Very good. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now we have a different participant. Let's see. Uh, Jennifer. Jennifer, give me four activities you do on Saturdays and Sundays, please. Four, four activities you do on Saturdays and Sundays. Okay. Uh, on Saturdays, I wo I go to work until noon and um Sundays um, I cook <laughs> with my family. And you cook for your family. Okay. Thank you, Jennifer. Now let's listen to Israel. Israel, give me four activities you do on weekends, please. 
uh, weekends I I am going to visit my farm parents. Okay, I visit my parents. I single, am going single single going to my parents. Single going to solo just the verb. I visit my parents. Okay. I I break breakfast. Uh, pupusas. Okay, you eat for breakfast pupusas. I I go to to church. Ah, okay, that's interesting. You go to the church. I I watch TV. And you watch TV. Okay, thank you, Israel. Now let's continue with Jose. Okay. Jose Vela. What are some activities you do on Saturdays and Sundays? Okay, uh, I visit my my parents or my family, uh -huh. and I wash the dog. I bathe the dog. Bathe. Ba bathe. Yeah. Okay. Pay attention bathe. to the chat. This is the verb. Bathe the dog. I bathe the dog. Huh? Continue, please. Bait. Okay, bait the dog. Uh, drive my motorcycle or ride a bike. Uh, motorcycle. Ride. Yeah, ride. Ride a motorcycle. Ride a uh, bike. It's possible. Okay. Ride a motorcycle and watch TV. And you watch TV too. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Jose. Thank you. Now let's continue with Karina. Karina de Rivera. What are some activities you do on Saturdays and Sundays? I'm going to the church. I visit my family mm -hmm. and I run the clothes and I wash the car. And you wash the car. Thank you, Karina. Thank you very much. Yeah. Let's see now, Katia. Katia Monterosa. What are some activities you do on Saturdays and Sundays? I clean the house. I clean the window. I do the shopping. Mm -hmm. I I wash the dishes. And you wash the dishes too. Okay. Thank you, Katia. Kenya, what are some activities you do on in weekends, Kenya? Um on Saturday I do exercise and clean my house. And sometimes I wash my clothes. Uh, on Sunday, I go to the church and I do the shopping with my mother. And you do the shopping with your mom. Okay, very good, Kenya, thank you. Now let's continue with uh, Santiago. What are some activities we do on Saturdays and Sundays, Santiago? Santiago, can you hear me? Hello, Santiago? Okay, so then let's continue with Alejandro. Alejandro Rivera. What are some activities you do on Saturdays and Sundays, Santiago? I mean, Alejandro. Good evening, class. Good evening. Um, Saturday, I was working at home. Um Sunday I had a date with my girlfriend um working at home. Okay, you work at home. Very good. Now let's continue with Evelyn. Evelyn Enriquez, what are some activities you do on Saturdays and Sundays? On Saturday I study in the university mm -hmm. and I clean my house. Okay. On Sunday, I visit my family. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Now let's continue with Tamara. Tamara, what are some activities you do on Saturdays and Sundays? 
Um, my activity is Saturday, and I wake up at say o'clock. Mm -hmm. I I wash. I take a uh, wash. Okay. I wash. And I wash. Or I clean the house. And, you could say. And and I'm going to learn to make bags and and purse. Mm -hmm. And Sunday I wake up and. Nine or ten o'clock, okay. and watching next. Week. Okay. And you watch Netflix too. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Tamara. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, guys. Now for tonight, we will continue with something totally different. Okay, let's continue with a very new topic. The topic is the simple past. Let me show you this moment, everybody. Okay, so the simple past. When we use the simple past, everybody, when we describe events or actions that happened in the past. Acciones o eventos que ocurrieron en el pasado. Okay, this is the, the use, this is the function of this uh, grammar structure, the simple past. Okay, and observe this. The simple past is used to talk about actions that happened in the past. For example, when you say yesterday, you talk about past actions. Yesterday, ayer. Okay, how do you say in English? La semana pasada, el año pasado, el diciembre pasado, etc. So we include the word last, okay, last. For example, last week, last month, last December, my last birthday, mi pasado cumpleaños, o en mi último cumpleaños. Pasado diciembre, last December. Okay, la pasada Navidad, last Christmas. El año pasado, last year. Okay? And then pay attention to this time expression, everybody. When we use the word ego. In Spanish, we include it at the beginning. In español, va al inicio. Hace. Hace tres años. But in English, it's three years ago. Okay? Be careful with that expression. Ego is at the end of the time expression. Y hace diez años? Ten years ago. Ten years ago. Hace seis días, six days ago. Okay. Hace dos horas, two hours ago, etc. Okay, so these are the time expressions that we use in the simple past, everybody. These are the time expressions that we use in the simple past. Okay? So remember, this is the function of the simple past. Talk about actions that happen in the past, acciones que ocurrieron en el pasado, okay? And in the simple past, everybody, we have two big groups. We have two big groups, observe, please. We have the regular verbs and the irregular verbs. Verbos regulares y verbos irregulares. Okay, the regular verbs are very simple because we only include ed. Observe, please. Play, play. Install, install. Work, work. Look, look. Earn, earn. Want, wanted. For example, how do you say in English? Yo jugué basketball ayer. I play basketball. Yesterday. Okay, that's the idea. I played basketball yesterday. 
Be careful. We only include ed. We only include the verb. The, for the verb, we just include the ed. I worked last Friday. I worked last Friday, for example. Yo trabajé el viernes pasado. I worked last Friday. But when we have the irregular verbs, they are a little difficult. Son un poquito más difíciles. Because the irregular verbs, they have a special form. They have a very special form. The verb is totally different. The verb is totally different. Observe, for example, do. The simple past for do is did. For example, how do you say in English? Yo hice mi tarea ayer. I did my homework yesterday. I did my homework yesterday. Okay. Now for the verb to be, we have was and were. Was for singular, where it's for plural, okay? For plural. For example, how do you say in English? Yo fui un buen estudiante. I was a good student. I was a good student, okay? So this is for the verb to be in the past, yo fui. Yo fui un buen estudiante. I was a good student. Had, had. Okay, how do you say in English? Yo tuve una fiesta ayer. I had a party yesterday, for example. Now, observe, please, for go. What is the simple pass for go? The simple pass for go is went. Okay. For example, how do you say in English? Nosotros fuimos a Canadá el año pasado. We went to Canada last year. We went to Canada last year. And we have other verbs. By boat, come, came. Okay, for example, pay attention to the verb by. The verb by, verbo comprar. The simple pass is bought. Yo compré una casa el año pasado. I bought a house last year. I bought a house last year. Yo compré, etc. So as you can see, the irregular verbs are totally different. It's a, a for the regular verbs, it's very simple because we only include ed. Now pay attention to this. The present, he works on Sunday. Negative, he doesn't work on Sundays. Question, does he work on Sundays? Okay, this is in the present, everybody. This is in the present simple. But in the past, observe, I work on Sundays. And when it's negative, be careful. When we have the negative form, we have the auxiliary. Didn't. Didn't. Okay? Él no trabajó los domingos. He didn't work on Sundays. And the question, did he work on Sundays? Trabajó en los domingos? Okay, in the present, for example, I ask you, do you live in San Salvador? Vive usted en San Salvador? Do you, do you live in San Salvador? But in the past, we changed the auxiliary, only that. Did you live in San Salvador? Did you stay in San Salvador? That's it, we only change the auxiliary, that's all, okay? So present and past, everybody. Present and past. Now we have uh, the verb walk. Observe, please. Recuerde, no importa cuál sea el sujeto. Puede 
puede ser yo, tú, él, ella, nosotros, ellas. The same verb. El verbo se mantiene. Siempre va a ir en pasado. Okay, but if we have the negative, the negativo, ocupamos didn't. Y el verbo regresa a su forma original. Okay. Keep in mind that, please. Mantenga en mente eso. El verbo regresa a su forma original. For example, I say, I went to the party. Yo fui a la fiesta ayer. Yeah. I went to the party yesterday. ¿Cómo digo yo no fui? I didn't go. I didn't go to the party. Yo no fui a la fiesta. Okay, so didn't and the verb in the original form. Y el verbo va en su forma original. Okay, the verbs in the original form. And the question, did. Subject and the verb in the original form again. If we sell a fiesta, I want to pregunta. If we sell a fiesta, did you go to the party? Okay, so this is the way we form the simple past, everybody. Así como formamos el pasado simple. This is the way we form simple past. Now, everybody, observe. For the regular verbs, we have ED. Pay attention to the block number one. These are the regular verbs. We only include ED. Now, pay attention to the block number two. Okay, si termina con E, fácil, solo le agrego la D. Y, lead, love, love, close, close. But now, be careful with the block number three. Pay attention to the block number three. Estos son para los regulares, las reglas para los regulares. Observe, please. The verb ending with vowel y. Cuando el verbo termina con vocal y. Por ejemplo, play, enjoy, stay. No problem. I just include ed. Solo le agrego ed. But if we have the verb ending with consonant y. Si el verbo termina con consonante y, ahí le eliminamos la y, le agregamos ied. For example, study, study. Cry, cry. Try, try, etc. Okay? And now, for when we have a short, a short verb, and the short verb is ending with consonant, vowel consonant, we need to double the last consonant. Ve el último bloque, cuando el verbo es corto, y las últimas tres letritas son consonante, vocal consonante, for example, plan, stop, travel, tenemos que doblar la última consonante, y le agregamos ed. This is the rule, everybody. This is the rule for the regular verbs. Esa es la regla para los verbos regulares. Okay? Do you have any questions? Anybody? Questions? Preguntas? If you have any questions, let me know now, please. Me lo haces saber. Uh -huh. como, como oración puedo decir stop it. Stop. Okay, for example, like this. Let me show you. Let me give you an example with, uh, with stop.
for example, I can say here, I stopped my car in the gas station yesterday. Let's go, the two with me out in a gasolina, yeah. Entonces, ¿por qué se dobla la última consonante? Porque es un verbo corto y las últimas tres letras son consonante, vocal, consonante. Está T O P. Ok, ahí es. I stopped my car in the gas station yesterday. I stopped my car in the gas station yesterday. Okay, now everybody, let's use the irregular verbs. Pay attention to the irregular verbs. For example, I go to work by bus. Observe, please. Yo voy al trabajo en bus. Negative, I don't go to work by bus. Question, do you go to work by bus? But in the past, remember, go is an irregular verb. Go is an irregular verb. So in the past, we have, I went to work by bus. Yo fui a trabajar en bus. Negative. I didn't go to work. No fui a trabajar. Question. Did you go to work? ¿Fuiste a trabajar? So, this is the difference, everybody. You need to identify the regular verbs with the irregular verbs. Tienen que identificarlos. Ok, ya le vamos a dar una lista de los verbos irregulares. Se los aprende. Ok, ya lo vamos a incluir. Now, everybody, pay attention to some other verbs, please. Pay attention to these verbs. For example, we have the verb go. What is the task for go? Went. Then we have the verb eat. What is the simple pass for eat? Eight. Then we have the verb buy. What is a simple pass for buy? Bro. Boat. Bro. Okay, then we have the verb, for example, we have the verb uh, drink. What is a simple pass for drink? Bro. Drank. 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 That's right. Okay, then we have the verb uh, run. The pass is run. Okay, etc. Now, everybody, let's form some sentences. We're going to describe two actions you did yesterday. Va a describir dos acciones que usted hizo ayer con alguno de estos verbos. For example, in my case, See. Okay, observe, please. I went
Okay, everybody, two examples, please. Two examples. In my case, I went to Sonsonate yesterday. I ate tacos last night. Bien, algo que hizo usted en el pasado, utilizando estos verbos que tenemos. So, I go to the chat, everybody. And I include my ideas in the chat. Voy a incluir esas ideas en el chat. So, I went to Sonsonate yesterday. I ate tacos last night. Use the verbs in the past, everybody. Use the verbs in the past. Okay, let's do it, please. Give me two examples in the chat, please. Two actions using the verbs. Went, ate, bought, tried, ran, etc. Algo que usted comió ayer, algo que bebió ayer, donde fue el fin de semana pasado. Okay, the one is I ate pupusas on Saturday. Very good. But it's two actions, two actions, the word. Son dos acciones. It's two actions, please. Okay, Jennifer, I went to plan a Remember, everybody, include the time expression. Include the expression de tiempo. Yesterday, last Saturday, last night, noche, last night. Okay, Karina, I drank orange juice yesterday. I ate pizza yesterday at noche. Very good. Jose, I went to the church in San Salvador. I drank milk. Very good. Okay, Tamara, I bought clothes. I went to visit Coquita Peque, Saturday. And Jennifer, I drank coffee last night. That's right. Okay, Kayla, I bought ice cream yesterday. I went to the church last Saturday. Okay, the word is I ate pupusas on Saturday and I went to the church with my grandparents yesterday. Perfect. Carla Torres, I bought pizza yesterday. Ok, Carla, no se nos olvide cuando es yo. Tiene que ir la I latina en mayúscula. I bought pizza. Ok, Maribel, I went to work in the morning. Lo mismo para Maribel, ¿de acuerdo? Cuando habla del yo, el pronombre personal yo, tiene que ir en mayúscula. I went to work in the morning. Okay, Kathy, I went to Colombia two years ago and I bought many things. Things is con G, en este caso, Kathy. Things, cosas. Things. Fernando, I went to visit my girlfriend yesterday. I ate the food and I drank a beer last night. Okay. So everybody, you are talking about actions that happened in the past. Okay, Santiago, I ate chicken yesterday. I drank lemon last night. Okay, chicken, Santiago. It's with letter C before the K. Antes la letra K la C. And lemon. It's like, like this, okay. lemon, lemon, like this. Okay, Israel, yesterday I ate fish.
Okay, uh, the time expression is at the end of the sentence, everyone. La expresión de tiempo va al final. Puede el verb. After the verb. I went to my work yesterday. I drank coffee last night. Very good. Okay. So everybody, this is the way we express the past simple. Si es como expresamos el pasado simple. We use the verbs in the past. And remember, we have regular verbs and irregular verbs. Okay, everybody, now let me show you a list of irregular verbs, please. Let's pay attention to this list, everybody. This is a list with irregular verbs. Okay, for this level, everybody, for this level, we are going to learn some regular verbs. Okay, wait a minute, yes. Okay, everybody, I want you to please take a screenshot for this picture that we have here. Observe, please. Vamos a tomar una captura de pantalla. Okay, for example, we have the most common irregular verbs. Estos son los 64 más comunes. Okay, observe, please. For example, we have the verb uh, make. What is the past for make? The past is made. Okay, observe. What is the past for the verb get? Get. What is the past? The past is got. Okay, what is the past for the verb take? Sir, please take. The verb is took. Took, etc. Okay, y aquí viene el reto. Tienen que aprenderse todos estos verbos para este nivel. Si usted se aprende estos verbos, si usted se aprende todos estos verbos, se le va a facilitar el nivel 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, todos los niveles de aquí en adelante. Pero si no se los aprende, va a tener problemas. 
ya de adelante vamos a necesitar conjugar verbos en pasado. So please, everybody, please try to learn the irregular verbs. Learn the irregular verbs, please. Esta lista que tienen aquí, se la voy a ir preguntando todos los días. Every day. Please study the verbs. Tómele una captura de pantalla. We take a screenshot if it's possible. Take a screenshot if it's possible, everybody. Tómele una captura de pantalla. Tómele fotografía si está en la compu. You will use the verbs all the time. The verbs in the past. Okay, let's continue, please. Now let's continue with a different activity, everybody. Now for the questions, remember, for questions, we use the verb, we use the auxiliary. We use an auxiliary. The auxiliary is did. Okay, everybody, pay attention to this question. Observe, please. Okay, what did you do this morning? This is the question. Observe this. What did you do this morning? Okay, so stay esta mañana. Then I can use, I can express ideas using the verbs. This is the routine, but now the routine in the past. It's like a report. Estamos como reportando lo que hicimos en el pasado. This morning, for example. Observe, please. These are the actions in the past. Sir, please. So the question is, what did you do this morning? What did you do this morning? And then you can say, for example, I brushed my teeth, I ate breakfast, I did exercises. And then you can say, for example, I cooked breakfast. I watch the news, for example. Okay, everybody, observe, please. What did you do this morning? I got up at 5 a.m., I took a shower, I got dressed, I ate breakfast, I cooked breakfast, I took the bath, I went to work, I brushed my teeth, I did exercises, I watched the news. Now, 
Remember, everybody, in this case, we are using the verbs in the past. The verbs in the past. Observe, please. Remember, this is, these are events that happened this morning, events that happened in the past. Okay, check it please everybody. What did you do this morning? Can you say esta mañana? I got up at 6 a.m., 4 a.m. That depends on you. I took a shower. I got dressed. I ate breakfast. I cooked breakfast. I took the bus. I went to work. I brushed my teeth. I did exercises. I watched the news. Teacher. Yes. Tell How me. do you say ayude? I helped. For example, in this case, I helped my mom, for example. I helped my mom with the breakfast. I helped my mom with the shopping. Y si usted tiene auto, por el pasado de manejar, drive. The past is true. I drove to work. Yo manejé hacia mi trabajo. I drove to work. Okay, everybody. Please listen and repeat. Okay, listen and repeat, please. Let's practice the pronunciation, please. Let's practice the pronunciation. Vamos a practicar la pronunciación, pero sin necesidad de encender el micrófono. Okay. Only listen to me and repeat. Listen to me and practice the repetition. Repeat, please. I got up at 5 a.m. I got up at 5 a.m. I took a shower. I took a shower. I took a shower. I got dressed. I got dressed. I ate breakfast. I ate breakfast. I cooked my breakfast. I cooked breakfast. I helped my mom. I took the bus. I went to work. I brushed my teeth. I brushed my teeth. I did exercises. I did exercises. I watched the news. I drove to work. I drove to work. Okay, everybody. So, and now I will ask you for, I will ask you just one question. What did you do this morning? Le voy a hacer una pregunta. ¿Qué hizo usted esta mañana? And then you have to tell me four activities. Four or five activities. Okay, but very quickly. Okay, I got up at 4 a.m. I took a shower. I got dressed. I drank coffee, for example, like this. I drank coffee. I went to work. I brushed my teeth. So you're going to tell me four actions, everybody. This is the task. You have to tell me four or five actions. Four or five actions you did yesterday. No importa que vayan, no importa que, que vayan en orden. 
Okay, you have to tell me just four actions, everybody. Four actions in the past. Okay, so let's do it, please. Vamos a hacer. For example, let's start with uh, uh, Kayla. Kayla Lopez. What did you do this morning? Four or five actions. Trate de acordarse, diga. I helped my mom. Okay. I got up at 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. I took a shower. Uh -huh. I brushed my teeth. Okay. I ate breakfast. Very good. Thank you, Kayla. Thank you for your participation. Now, Tamara, what did you do this morning, Tamara? Uh, I got up at say uh, six a.m. Mm -hmm. I took a shower. I brushed my teeth. I uh, cook cook my uh, breakfast. I cook cook my breakfast. Um, cook my my breakfast. Mm -hmm. Um, I help my son with. Do homework with his homework. His homework, and I watch TV. I watch TV. And okay, era, excellent. Uh, watch mm -hmm. TV news, for example. Okay, thank you, Tamara. Now let's continue with Santiago. What did you do this morning, Santiago? Try to remember four or five actions, please. I got up at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. I had breakfast at 8 a.m. Uh -huh. I washed clothes. I washed clothes, clothes. I took a shower. Mm -hmm. I drank coffee. And you drank coffee. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's continue with Maribel. Maribel, what did you do this morning, Maribel? Ben, can you hear me? Okay, so let's continue with a different class. Let's see. Maribel Pineda, can you hear me? ¿Puede escucharme, Maribel? La veo, pero no la escucho. Okay, so maybe she has problems with her audio. So let's continue with uh, Kenya. Kenya, what did you do this morning? Kenya? I got up at 7 a.m. and I brushed my teeth. I took a shower and I had a breakfast with a friend this morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Kenya. Now, Katya, what did you do this morning, Katya? This morning I got got up at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. I took a shower. I got dressed. I drove to work. You drove to work. Okay. Thank you. Now let's continue with Karina. Karina, what did you do this morning? I got up at 5 a.m. I took a shower. I got to dress. And I cook breakfast. And you cook breakfast too. Okay. Uh, uh, Thank you, Karina. Now, Jose, Jose Bella, what did you do this morning? I got at uh, 4 a.m. I took a shower. I went to work and I ate uh, yogurt. I ate yogurt. You ate yogurt. Okay. Thank you, Jose. Now, let's continue with, uh, let me see. Jennifer, Jennifer, what did you do this morning, Jennifer? I get up uh, at 7 a.m. I took a shower. I, um, I, 
Eh, eight. Very fast. Huh? Okay, very good. Just that. Uh, thank you, Jennifer. Now let's continue with uh, Evis. What did you do this morning, Evis? Huh? Okay, this this morning I got up at 6 a.m. and then I did exercise exercise. Um after that I watched TV and later I took a shower and finally I went to work. You went to work. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's see Israel. What did you do this morning, Israel? I got up 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. I took a shower. I go to dress. I ate breakfast. I brush my tea. Okay, fantastic. Thank you, Israel. Thank you very much. Let's see, Lourdes. What did you do this morning, Lourdes? I woke up at 6 a.m. Later, I took a shower. So I I got I got dressed. Later, huh? I went to work. Finally, I checked my email. And finally, you check your email. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue with Alejandro. What did you do this morning, Alejandro? I got up at six o'clock. Okay. I cooked my breakfast and ate. I drank a big coffee cup. I drank. I drank. I, I drank a big coffee cup. I brushed my teeth. Huh? Um, I took a shower. You took a shower. Okay, very good. Thank you, Alejandro. Now let's continue with Evelyn. What did you do this morning, Evelyn? In this morning, I went to my work. I bought my breakfast. I ate my breakfast. I watched the news. And you watch the news. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you very much. Okay, everyone, please don't forget it. We have an important challenge for the level three. Tenemos un reto importante. The challenge is this, everybody. Learn the irregular verbs. Aprendernos los verbos irregulares. ¿Lo tienen? Observe, please. Bien, ¿cómo diferencio los verbos regulares de los irregulares? Que eso me lo preguntan bastante veces. ¿Cómo lo voy a diferenciar? Ok, if I learn the irregular verbs, ok, that's all. Y si hace que son irregulares, pues sí que lo que no están en esta lista son los regulares. Ok, so please, don't forget it. Try to study them. Okay, trate de establecer una meta. Voy a aprenderme 10 este día. 10 el siguiente. 10 el otro. Okay, and then you continue. Please don't forget it, everybody. Practice the irregular verbs. Practice them, please. Okay, for tomorrow, for tomorrow, we are going to learn the verbs from the verb be to the verb to the verb here, the first block, the primer block that we're going to learn. So for tomorrow, I am going to ask you, for example, I say, okay, Israel, what is the past simple for do? Did. What is this past simple for forget, forgot? What is the past simple for buy, bought? Y así sucesivamente. Entonces, mañana le pregunto a usted, los verbos, del verbo to be, hasta el verbo here. So in this moment, everybody take a picture or take a screenshot. Tómenle una captura de pantalla, tómenle foto 
esto porque mañana eso lo vamos a preguntar el primer bloque the first block I will ask you five verbs everybody. five different verbs le voy a preguntar cinco verbos ¿Qué ¿Qué ajá tell me no, no consulta y el verbo become es el mismo no become es en otros tiempos convertirse no become became became yeah we change letter o for letter oh, okay. a yes become became mm -hmm. yes convertirse okay okay everybody so please don't forget it for tomorrow the first block from the verb be to the verb here there's a verbo be as the verbo here memorize them please study study the verbs okay Thank you for your attention tonight, everybody. Okay, thank you for thank you for attending tonight's class. And see you tomorrow at nine o'clock. Okay, have a good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Study the verbs, please. Good night. <laughs>